What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordan and today we're going to be working on the dots in 280Z. We're going to be removing the side trim and I'm not sure how it's going to go. Some people tell me that there's a bunch of holes underneath the trim and some people tell me it's just double sided sticky tape. So if you want to see how that goes, stick around. And so I've always hated the side trim on the side of the Datsun. I think it's ugly and it's cracking and it's made of plastic and it looks really cheap. But I knew that if I took off the trim that there might be holes underneath. So I never did it. And so now that we're planning to maybe paint the car at the end of the year, I'm going to start doing exterior body mods to the car, putting on a new front valence, um, new grills, maybe a new wing, a bunch of other stuff. But the reason why I'm doing this is because we're going to be painting the car sometime towards the end of the year. So I'm going to start working towards exterior modifications. And so I hope that if you want to see that, you'll stick around and subscribe to the channel. But uh, today we're just doing something simple. We're going to remove the trim and hopefully there's no holes underneath. Like most project cars, our Datsun looks great from about 10 or 15 feet. But as you get closer, you can see the blemishes and especially this side trim. It just really looks bad these days. It's cracked and discolored and it just looks like garbage. So that's the reason why I want to take it off. But one of my buddies, Joel, here in town, he restores Datsuns. He told me that he thinks this one might be the kind that just has the double sticky tape. And I tried to do some research. The only information that I could really come up with is that the side trim that has the silver on the outsides and the black on the inside is double sticky tape. And the trim that has silver on the middle and black on the outsides is the kind that leaves the holes. And I don't know, I found that on an old forum post. So I don't know how reliable that is, but today I think we're gonna find out. So to remove the trim today, you just need a couple tools. We need a heat gun, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up the trim, and that's gonna get the double-sided sticky tape nice and soft. And then you're gonna use some fishing line, and then you take that fishing line and you sneak it behind the trim, and then you hold it on both sides and kind of saw off the trim, and that's gonna take away some of the sticky tape, but it's also gonna leave behind a lot of sticky tape. So to get rid of that, you're gonna get one of these 3M eraser attachments for your drill. I got this one at O'Reilly's, and I was really surprised to find out that these things are $55. But basically, whatever is left behind, you put it on it, and then, and it removes it. So I've never used one of these things before, but hopefully it works. And it's supposed to remove everything without scratching the paint, but it probably still will, but we'll polish it and take care of it anyway. All right, so first step, we're just gonna heat up the trim and then we'll go from there. All right, now that it's heated up a little bit, I'm gonna take some of this fishing line and I'm just gonna sneak it behind and see if we can start cutting this trim. Oh yeah, this is like super easy. When you're heating up this area with the heat gun, only heat up the metal. Don't heat up the trim because you want the adhesive that's stuck to the metal to get loose. You don't want the adhesive that's stuck to the trim to get loose. But this stuff is just so easy to pull off. Like I don't even have to worry about the fishing line. So I think it's gonna be easier than we thought. But be careful though, if your paint is really, really crappy, you could pull the paint off if you're not careful, but I'm barely even tugging on this. It's just coming off so easy. Wow, so removing the trim was way, way easier than I thought it would be. However, it's not all good news. So I did get a little bit of paint coming off right here. I think it all started with this little rust spot and then, um, you know, whatever else happened here. So not all good news, but you know, we're gonna be doing a bunch of rust repair, a cosmetic rust repair on the car over the next year. So just part of the process, I guess. Um, it can't be perfect all the time.
Yo, look at that, it's like a brand new car. Whose car is that? It's not my car. Whose is this stuff? Who put this garbage on this car? Who decided this was a good idea? Good riddance. All right, I'm gonna go get a microfiber towel, get some soap and water, and see how much of this stuff I can clean up without having to use any power tools. So, I'll be right back. All right, guys, after a little bit of a wipe down with soap and water and also some distilled white vinegar to get rid of the residue, she is looking so good without that trim. And honestly, this is best case scenario for removing trim. Zero holes whatsoever, and she's looking really, really good underneath the trim, except for one little casualty, which was on the driver's door. And it looks like the um, trim was applied when the paint wasn't fully cured. That's why this came off. And then also just a little spot of rust there. But honestly, I don't care. The paint on this car is totally wrecked anyway. I mean, look at the roof. Looks like garbage. So we're gonna get to all of this eventually and fix everything. But I am so stoked with how it turns out with just taking off that side trim. It's amazing how much that can clean up the profile of the car. So I am really, really happy and excited to move on to the next part of the project. Just last week, I ordered a new front valence for this car. Um, I'm really excited about it because I looked around for a long time to try and find a front valence that I felt was period correct and match the car, but also was like a little bit unique because everyone seems to do the type one front valence and I didn't want to do that. So um, I just ordered it last week and it should be here next week. And as soon as I get it, I'm going to show you guys and make a video about it. But aside from that, I'm also going to be fabricating some aluminum front grills for this car. I do a bit of welding, so um, I'm excited to do some custom work and really start working on the exterior of the car. Um, you know, it's been this way for a couple of years and I've had this wing that's on the, on the back of the car. I've had that wing for a while. I might change that, I'm not really sure, but this whole next year is gonna be me prepping the exterior for paint. So stick around if you wanna see the transformation of this car over the next 12 months. Uh, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button on this video, and thanks for watching. This was a really simple and easy video, but it turned out great. So thanks for watching, we'll see you next time for removing the side trim. You done barking?